look around anyway. dug up. Thing is, grave robbers don't usually wail and moan that much. Damn it. More fighting. Noises coming from the catacombs, it seems. soul. Strange. Doesn't look anything like a grave hag's lair either. Hmm. Gold. Can't be grave robbers. None worth their salt would have left this. Louis de Corentin. Died on the day of Saint Zoetham's remembrance. Hmm. Noises started right around then. Louis de Corentin died on the day of Saint Zoetham's remembrance. Hmm. Noises started right around then. Pretty fresh. Funeral wasn't too long ago. Smashed, as if someone threw it against the wall. Margot de Corentin. No sign of monsters or grave robbers. Bit of a mess, that's all. Maybe this isn't the spot after all. 
Strange. Noise is clearly coming from that tomb. Impossible. Something's not right. Need to hide, see how things play out. You'd rather lie about all day, flipping those cards like some... some dwarf! Disgusting! Indeed. It's far better to stand at the door of Lepiota's temple, mumbling prayers from dawn till dusk. Ingrid, I prayed for you, that you would cast off the yoke of gambling. Fine job you did of it. Seems the gods had also heard enough of your cackling. And you? Why are you here? This is a private conversation. Mind keeping it down? Neighbors are complaining. Neighbors? Everyone here is dead! I know not your name, but you must help me. I refuse to spend eternity at the side of this heathen. Remove him from my crypt at once! Slow down. What's the problem? This is my crypt, and this saintly shrew harangues me even in death. An eternity of nagging for misery! I was blind and a fool to marry him! He's a slave to the cards, prepared to wager his own child on a round of Gwent! Once, damn it, and as a jest! How many times must I explain? And who sank our fortune into some silly statue of Lebioda? Piety! That was my cause! The prophet immortalized would have transformed this land of blasphemy and betting. How was I to know it was all a fraud? Because I warned you some five hundred times? Quiet. Shut up, both of you. Look, if there's to be peace and quiet here, one of you's gotta go. Need to move one of you out. Yes. Take him. Please, do so. And I shall... I shall tell you where I hit his lucky Gwent cards. What? I knew it was you! And now, you would evict me from my crypt, then pay for the deed with my cards! It all. Had I those very cards at the tournament in Belhaven, I'd still be alive. It's your fault, you pox incarnate, that they stabbed me to death. They murdered you for your debts. I had nothing to do with it. Come, I heed this good book thumping wench. Mind, I know well where she hit those cards. I'll tell you myself as soon as you've removed her. Need to think about it. All right, gotta move one of them out. Thus spake the prophet Lepiota. Thou shalt not play for coin. After which he promptly added, For you shall have none left for me! Heretic, shut your mouth! I shall... No, wait. 
If you truly must do this, then please, at the least, deposit me somewhere pleasant. All the same to me. Where do you want to go? Take me to my mother's grave. It's in the old cemetery just outside the city walls. A lovely spot, almost on the lake shore. The flora there, it's extraordinary, really. Hmm, extraordinary flora. Where is it exactly? Beneath the outspread arms of a chestnut. The tombstone bears my mother's name, Micheline Belros. To think I failed to heed her when she warned me about that love. Micheline Belrose. This is it. Well, that's done. the urn with Margot's ashes, just like you wanted. Louis, you there? Should have known he'd stand me up. All right, if that's how you want to play it. Please, put me back. Yes, I'm a fraud. I lied to you. I've no notion where the cards are, but, but I, I shall think of something. Just wait. Got it. A swordsmith. Trent has the name. I skinned him at Gwent once, but he had no coin, so he promised me the pride of his collection. A lovely blade. Finely fashioned. I passed on before I could get it, but you could collect it in my stead. Just tell him Louis de Corentin sent you. The dead Louis de Quarantin? Hmm, mm, that could indeed prove problematic. But if... I know. The man's a gambler, inveterate. His wife forced him to seek help, a hypnosis or some such. She believes Trentin no longer touches cards, would wager her virtue on it. Were she to learn he still plays Gwent, well, he'd be in a deep doodle-loo. Hmm, thanks.
best steel in all of Tucson. Take a gander. Show me what you have. Here to collect Louis de Quarantan's sword. Ha! <laughs> That's rich. De Quarantan's dead. Who are you? His brother? His lover? Louis never mentioned either. Maybe so. But he told me a bit about you. Heard you used to play a little Gwent. Had a habit, in fact, till your wife helped you kick the addiction. Real treasure. Wife like that. Ah! Oh, the bum poke! Ugh. Here I thought I might hang it over the mantle again, with Louis gnawing radishes from the underside. But it seems I must. So be it. The sword's yours. But don't leave me high and high. Give me a chance to win back my dignity at least. Perhaps a round or three for coin? What about the wife? Not afraid she'll... In my home, what I say stands. Women have got no power. Besides which, the wife's away for a few days visiting her sister in Belhaven. So, shall we play? All right. Convinced me. Lay him out.
Ah, Baba Snatch. Happens to the best. It serves me right for challenging a stranger to have such a deck. Ah. So long. Just wounds. Oh, I must have eaten something rancid. Hey there, I'm done. Cemetery ought to be real nice and quiet now. Ah, to sleep in my own bed once more. The clogs has grown intolerably loud. The punters bellow like men possessed. One madman especially, always shouting, ordering, ordering. But tell me, at the cemetery, what was it? Beasts, as you claimed? Nope. Just a marital spat. That's it? But they hollered like skewered pole cats. Mm. Sorry to bother you with such a trifle. Here, for your trouble. Thanks. Hey, Blondie. Close your porridge when the bears are out to forage. Oof, my belly. Nothing doing. Some